Jesus one day and they said, Master, teach us to pray. They said, John taught his disciples to pray. How did they know? They knew that the disciples of John prayed. They would have learned the same prayer that the disciples of John prayed. Because they knew that the disciples of John prayed. But for some reason, they didn't want to learn the prayer of John, which they may have already known. They didn't want to pray it anymore. Maybe they were already praying it. But uh, this time they said, teach us to pray. As John taught his disciples to pray. Why? Why did they say that? Because Jesus received results. You see that? Jesus received results. So they said, Master, teach us to pray. I want to teach you something little about prayer. And um, I believe it will help you. You believe it will help you? You ready to learn it? Sure you're ready to learn it? Say yes if you are. Yes. Thank you. Now right there where you're sitting, that's where you're going to do it. See, when you pray, there are different kinds of prayer. And you can pray You can pray in a way that uh, just helps you to pour out your heart. Okay? But that's not enough. That's one good way to pray. But there is a prayer that can have all of them together. You pour out your heart. Your spirit is lifted to receive result. And then your spirit is inspired to see the future. Are you ready? Listen. Jesus taught his disciples to pray. So they knew how to pray. Are you hearing me? They knew how to pray. They prayed the kind of prayer that gave results. That's why when you study in the, in the New Testament, you would see how the apostles had results from their praying. Okay, relax. Relax yourself. You know how to relax? I didn't say sit back. I can relax, I can relax without sitting back. I know you all went like this. To relax... It's not uh, just a physical thing. It begins mentally. Relax your mind. What does it mean to relax your mind? Reduce the speed. Can you reduce the speed? Okay, let me show you how to reduce the speed. Laugh a bit, just laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. Laugh again. Say wow. Are you relaxed now? Some didn't even, they couldn't even say that. Say ha ha ha. Alright. There's no telling what, what will happen here now. Just, just watch. So, now your mind is relaxed. Then, I want you to do the next thing. How many of you speak in other tongues? Let me see your hand up. You speak in other tongues? Great. Great. What a church. Great. Okay. I want you to just raise one hand. 
Just one hand. In your relaxed position, just raise one hand. Okay? And thank the Lord. Just go on and just thank Him. Okay? Now, think of many things to thank Him for. And, and just thank Him for the life that He has given you. It's a wonderful life. Alright? Thank Him for the wonderful life that He has given you. Such a beautiful life. Okay? Thank Him for the beautiful life. He's given you a great life. Think of all the beautiful things that the Lord has done through your life and in your life. Okay? See what He's done? He's beautified your life. <laughs> Praise God. He just waved that hand before the Lord and said, Thank you, Lord Jesus. You've been so wonderful to me. You've blessed me. You've blessed me. You've blessed me. Lord, you bless me. You bless me. Hallelujah. Okay, stop. Stop. What are the two things you've done? Number one, you did what? I said what? Relax. Number two, what did you do? You began to bless the Lord. Alright? You were blessing Him. You were thanking Him. You were glorifying Him. Okay? You were blessing him, thanking him. And when you do that, you raise your hand. You can raise one, you can raise two. All right? And bless him. And you just wave them and just thank him and bless him and thank. You say, Lord, you've given me a great life, a wonderful life. Thank you. What a life. Oh, blessed Jesus. You know, you just thank him. Hallelujah. That's number two. All right. You know what number three is? You know what number three is? Now, because I don't bring many things into one, okay? So you can... Now in number three, in number three, you confess whatever wrongs there may be in your life. Alright? You say, blessed Jesus, the world is full of sin. Are you listening to me now? So instead of trying to look around, did I do anything wrong in the last one week? That would be stupid. The world is full of sin. We do not walk through it without taking some of them stains ourselves. We think wrong. We talk wrong. We act wrong a lot of times. And I've done so many wrong things, blessed Jesus. But you have taken responsibility for my sins. And if there's, if there's one, or you've got two, or there's three of them troubling you, and you say, Lord Jesus, you mention what it is. These things give me some concern. And I'm so sorry. Forgive me. I shouldn't have done them. Forgive me. Thank you for giving me forgiveness. Hallelujah. Thank you. For the blood that was shed for us. For the remission of sins. And the forgiveness of sins. Oh blessed Jesus. Thank you for purifying my soul today. Your word purifies. The Holy Ghost purifies. What are you doing now? The next step is dealing with sin. You are now dealing with sin. Are you following me? That is the third step. You deal with sin. Number one. You you, you relax. Number two, you give him praise. Number three, you deal with sin. Alright? You deal with it in your life. Deal with it. You deal with it. You deal with it. Because the world is full of unrighteousness. The very air around us. Full of no, uh, 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 negative thoughts, wrong thoughts, fear, doubt. And from time to time we pick some of them up ourselves. Sometimes we react in anger unnecessarily. And the Bible says the wrath of man walketh not the righteousness of God. And so you deal with saying that's the third one. 
And how do you deal with sin? Deal with sin from a position of strength. The strength of God. From a position of faith. Faith in the blood of the Lamb. Deal with sin from the position of faith. I believe in Jesus. Who was wounded for my transgressions. Bruised for my iniquities. Lord Jesus, thank you. You were delivered from my offenses and raised from my justification. Justification, you know what that means? That means declared not guilty. Discharged and acquitted. Lord, thank you. Oh, you remember in Acts 13, 38, through this man is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins. By him all that believe are justified from all things from which they could not be justified by the law of Moses. By the law of Moses I should be stoned to death. By the law of Moses I should be ostracized. By the law of Moses I should be condemned. But thank you, Lord Jesus. Through Jesus is preached unto me the remission of sins. The forgiveness of sins. By him all that believe are justified from all sins. Oh, thank you, Lord. Being therefore justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. By the time you get to this dealing with sin, number, are you following me? Dealing with sin, ooh. What happens is, you, the weakness of man, is revealed. Come on, come on, come on. Are you with me now? You see, the weakness of man is, is revealed. See your weakness? Immediately you have actually accepted that in your strength, says, by strength shall no man prevail. Suddenly you realize it is by faith, not by works. You see that? Not by the works of righteousness which we have done. Not by our own perfection. Not because I was so good. But dear Lord Jesus, my eyes are upon you. Thank you for washing my sins away. Thank you for cleansing me. Thank you for purifying my heart. Thank you for saving my soul. And when you say that, the presence of God, the strength of God takes over. You would, you would know it on the inside. Because suddenly you're not resting on your strength. You're resting on his strength. You would know it. Suddenly you become conscious of it. That you are standing by the righteousness of God. And the moment that clicks. The moment that clicks. Your spirit gains the mastery. Because now you've made the connection. Then you go to number four. Number four, you release yourself to begin to speak in other tongues. See, when you go, thank you, Lord, for the righteousness of God that I have become. So, you see, it, it, it's, it comes up spontaneously now. The spirit is released. You feel that you, you, you can literally sense the spirit gaining the ascendancy. You begin to speak in those tongues of the spirit so powerful from number three to number four which is speaking in tongues and you go on like that speaking in tongues and you're going to be punctuating these tongues as you're inspired by the word you be punctuating it with the word. The word of God will be inspiring you. And every now and then you pull up one scripture. You pull up one scripture. You see, you pull up from the depths of your spirits. Punctuating those tongues with the scriptures. Punctuating them. It may even start with just what, one of the ones I already gave you. No more condemnation to those that are in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm born of God with the nature of God. 
Oh, thank you, Jesus. My spirit is lifted. Hallelujah. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. He knoweth our frame. He remembereth that we are dust. Thank you, Jesus. As a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you for the strength of God in my spirit. Greater is he that is in me. Greater is he. You know, you're moving to the next level now. As you begin to punctuate, inspired by the Spirit to pick up scriptures that energize. As you begin to pick up those ones, you know, you're moving to the next level. You're moving to number five. See, through the scriptures that your Spirit is picking up, you will know that you're moving to number five. You would know you're moving to number five. Thank you, Jesus. Lido so to bakata dabaya. Zofro no mokiti bahase tekida. Zupra na makate le bosoko. Lobrodos kira basata kaya. Lord, thank you for the anointing. Thank you for the anointing. Greater is he that is in me. Thank you for the anointing. Thank you for the anointing. I'm stared up on the inside. Lord Jesus, no wonder you said go into all the world and preach the gospel. Vision is beginning to come. Already in your spirit, you're seeing yourself all over the world. Going to all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Oh, Jesus, by the help of God. See, what happens now? The level of the tongues you're speaking will begin to change. All right? Now, this is the number five. You're picking up a different set of scriptures. Now, the tongues will begin to change. You know what's happening? The spirit is now moving around like this. Like a radar. Hmm. Oh. Are you getting this then? It starts moving like a radar. Listen, you know what it's doing? As you're speaking in those tongues, your spirit starts moving like a radar. At that time, in number five, don't stop. Don't stop. Just keep getting deeper and deeper. You know what it's doing? It's trying to catch God's signal. What is it doing? It's going to a higher frequency. It's trying to catch something that can only be gotten at another frequency. It gets one. Son, I am with you. Hey, hey, you just got something. <sighs> and then just don't stop at that point. Let it keep going. <sighs> the next thing you know, an anointing settles on you. It, it, you just saw something. Look like a vision. It, but looks like I saw something. Did I see something? You know what God just showed you? You just saw yourself somewhere. Oh, did I see that? Continue. That's number five, brother. You just saw yourself. You see? Hey. Hey. You just saw yourself. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I just saw a vision. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You can begin to prophesy the vision. It shall come to pass. That's number six. The prophecy. The prophecy. That prophecy, it's a personal prophecy. It helps you take that thing that your spirit apprehended. That your spirit saw. It just caught it in that radar. And you got it. Uh! And by prophecy... By prophecy, you took hold of it. Number six is the prophecy. Did you hear me? What is number seven? The thanksgiving. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I know it. I know it. I know it. I know it. It'll come to pass. I know it. Thank you, Jesus. I know it. It'll come to pass. Come on, come on, come on. Are you still with me now? You sure you're with me? Did you hear something? Uh. 
Put it to work and watch your life ascend.